So this is the completed uh, dryer where the original problem was lots of uh, up and down play of the uh, dryer drum and now it's uh, moving smoothly and all the um, uh, play is, is now minimized in the up and down of the dryer drum. Uh, previously what it would do periodically, it, it would uh, grab pieces of clothing on the top of the dryer which would snag up between the, the drum and the door mechanism and the fabric would be pinned in there because there's a big gap up there. Now it's, the gap's been filled. Project's completed. So built in 2006. Started everything I actually um, it's too hard to get to the cord behind this tightly fit unit so I uh, shut off the dryer power at the circuit breaker box to make sure there was no power going to it and I verified no power was going to it before I started. I'm going to attempt a disassembly of this door frame here. Um, these two screws hold on the top of the panel here. These two screws go under here on each end and then there's some other pieces. There was a screw on this white tab and a screw in this corner that had to be removed as was a screw on this white tab and a screw in this corner that needed to be removed. Um, once those were removed this uh, front panel sort of hangs from these uh, plastic uh, hooks on each side. This whole inside chamber was filled with lint which I vacuumed out mostly. <laughs> but still some in here. Inside these two wires uh, unsnap at this connector. And on the left side, this connector and this connector uh, unsnap apart. So this clip was particularly difficult to detach from this clip as was this clip tough to detach from this clip. It was uh, having to pry from behind with a screwdriver to to get this to unsnap from each side sort of simultaneously very tough. Next um, I need to remove this hose so I can just move this whole unit away. To get the uh, door assembly off there's four Phillips screws on the top. And these two Phillips screws on the bottom. This inside sloping panel is also a problem that four screws have to be removed. Also there's uh, two screws that um, were attached to this lint tray and these two wires have to be detached I just slid off. Lots of stuff to do here. So um, after I removed the two middle screws from the uh, sloping panel, uh, the door assembly nearly fell off. <laughs> so uh, So these are the replacement parts. Felt seal lower, felt seal upper and then I put all the replacement screws inside snack size Ziploc bags that I've labeled so I know where they go back in place. Only one of the knobs had to come off. This is the control panel sitting aside. The inside sloping panel. Uh, the door assembly had a lot of up and down play on the um, unit and the reason is obvious once I get it apart there's nothing left of the 
the upper felt seal completely worn through and so the drum had a lot of up and down play so I'll be peeling off the remnants of this uh, seal and gluing the replacement in place this um, vent fits over this fan assembly and this was just all coated with dust as was much of the inside of the cabinet which I vacuumed out before I started so if uh, removing this uh, panel earlier it would have been much easier to unsnap all these wire connectors they were really tight against this frame when it was in place and it was very difficult to get enough slack to figure out how to unsnap them and had I removed this panel earlier it would have made the process much simpler uh, besides the worn off felt there's a plastic surface on the inside of the drum and I had ordered a replacement uh, strip but as I can see now it's only enough to go halfway around this is not worn out completely it's uh, discolored from having rubbed against the, the metal of the uh, top of the door frame but I only ended up getting one of these uh, plastic strips they're held in place by these little clips that are part of the plastic strip as it goes through holes in the metal. So again this is only enough to go halfway around the uh, inside of the drum. So I haven't figured out a tabletop to do this on, but um, uh, this is sort of working. I'm um, scraping off the the old uh, felt, which is the felt from the bottom, which is really not damaged. And then once it's removed uh, completely, then I'll move on to uh, cleaning off surface uh, sort of wire brushing it off and then applying a um, high temperature adhesive to the surface and then pressing on the the new felt the parts kit comes with this um, high temperature adhesive the top felt strip is like this and fairly short the bottom felt strip is much longer and goes all the way around to um, fit at the end. What I uh, saw in one of the related repair videos is to uh, put on the adhesive, let it dry for about a minute, and then press the uh, strip in place. Uh, on another video I saw it's useful to use close pins to uh, clip it in place, so I've asked my wife to uh, bring back some close pins from uh, shopping. Um, to complete this project. So on the left is the new dryer glide and on the right is the old one and there is a thickness difference. Not tremendous but it would have been good to have known that I only got half of the replacement dryer glide. Uh, this will have to do for now. I'm going to wait for a week for a new one to come in before I put this back together again. So it dries fairly fast and then there's just enough little extra and I'll just trim that off with the scissors and push it in place. This is part way through the reassembly. It was uh, I thought exceedingly difficult to get the uh, the drum lined up in the uh, door frame and in the door frame there's a 
sort of a clip on the side here and then on the opposite side and getting it lined up with the screws on the top. Uh, once I get it lined up, I actually put in the bottom screw here and the bottom screw on the other side to secure the door panel in place and then I had to play around with the, uh, the top panel. Um, I had it secured with only um, one screw in the middle here and one screw on the opposite side and what I found out is when I put the door frame up it was uh, not on top the way this is here it was actually in between and so I, what I didn't have to do is to take out that screw tilt it back and then slide the panel this top panel underneath this and then replace the screw and then remove the screw on the uh, opposite side tilt the panel slide the top panel underneath there and then replace the screw and then I was able to line up these four screws on the top here to secure the, the door panel but that took a lot more time than I expected I had also removed this vent beforehand because it was uh, uh, too much to get it all in place at once. Now I'll reassemble this, connect the wire harnesses, and then replace the um, inside sloping panel and then the exterior sloping panel on top of that. So just a few more steps to get it back together again. So it was this panel this frame and this inside all hooking together with these two screws. All these uh, pieces snap back together again real nicely. Have to put this hose back on and then uh, two screws hold in the, the bottom here and the hose goes back in place. This Plastic clips fit in these two openings on both sides. Two screws on the bottom of the control panel, both sides. Next goes the uh, sloping panel in place. The trickiest, the trickiest part for this panel are these two middle screws which go into uh, pieces that are not immediately visible so I attach those first and these holes are uh, readily visible for the remaining two screws a total of six screws on this inside sloping panel then there's these two corner screws at the bottom of the control panel one this side on this side and all the uh, screws here have been uh, Phillips and screws on this version of dryer number two Phillips screws then the final piece is the exterior sloping panel screws in place as well then the power goes back on Back to dryer function.